But so I have lots of cravings when I've short slept. Yes, you have, and yeah. there's a reason why. Is firstly, two appetite hormones called leptin and ghrelin will go in opposite directions. So they sound like hobbits, I know, and I've got some Lord of the Rings thing here, but leptin is the signal that says to your brain, you're full, yeah. you're, you're satiated, don't eat anymore. Ghrelin is the opposite. It kind of makes your tum stummy, tummy growl and it says you're hungry, you're not full, you need to eat more. When you are underslept, leptin, which says you're full, stop eating, that hormone is impaired, it drops away. So you lose the I'm full signal. Mm. And worse still, the ghrelin signal, which says I'm hungry, that increased. And so now you have about a 30 to 40% increased hunger drive. And the final part of this is that when you are underslept and taking on board calories, the way that you dispose of that energy is different. Your body has a higher predilection when you are sleep deprived to disposing of calories as fat rather than storing it, for example, as glycogen in the muscles. Oh, so when I'm underslept, um, that's why, you know, you're more likely to get belly fat. Correct. And what's worse is that there was a great study where they looked at people who were dieting and either getting sufficient sleep or not getting sufficient sleep. What was fascinating is that both of those groups, whether you are well slept or not well slept, you both lost weight. In fact, you lost about the same amount of weight. So you'd think, okay, so that's fine. The problem was, if you looked at what you were losing, there was an issue. Those people who were dieting but not getting sufficient sleep, 70% of all of the weight that they lost came from lean muscle mass and not fat. In other words, when you're not getting sufficient sleep, you keep what you want to lose, which is fat, and you lose what you want to keep, which is muscle. Oh, gosh. Damn, it's important, isn't it, the sleep stuff? But coming back to ketosis, by the way, I would say when people go into a fasted state, usually what we see is that the sleep gets shorter. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, I sleep almost more efficiently. I'll sleep for maybe just four or five hours, but I feel more alert and more awake. Now, some of that has to do with the ketosis. When you are calorically deprived, the brain starts to realize that something is wrong because you are lacking calories, you're going into starvation. So it drives on a chemical called orexin. Orexin is a wake-promoting chemical, and it forces your brain to release much more of this wakefulness chemical called orexin. So now when you're fasting, it's easier to stay awake for longer and your brain will deliberately stop you from sleeping as much. 